Down here in South Philadelphia at 11th and Shunk Street. Stake them up. Stake them up. Like an old mafia movie, Jake John. One good thing that I did want to bring up about Stake them up. They actually put out and served some food to the, the Philadelphia police officers as part of the riots and the pride. They're not the riots. The, um, the protests are going on. They're out late working at night. Took it. I think that's a good thing. Don't want to get very political on this and stuff like that, but. It's, it's not a, a black, white, Mexican, Puerto Rican type issue. It's a good versus bad type issue. That's what I think we gotta get into this root of this thing. They say, well, you shouldn't have shot the killer, you should shoot to, to, to injure or just stag. Don't wanna get very political on this. And what that cop did out there in versus bad. Down that guy, I mean, it was wrong. It's a bad cop. Don't wanna get very political on this. It doesn't make sense to the purpose of where we're going. We gotta be better. We gotta get rid of bad. You gotta eliminate the bad in this world, not for them. That's a little rain. I don't wanna get political. I don't wanna get political. I just think we just gotta eliminate the bad in this world. We gotta become better as a group. But let's go in for a little chew to review. Don't wanna get very political. Don't wanna get very political. Good versus bad. Good. 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 And again, like I said, people, it's not get political. It's not, it's, it's not make it a racist thing. Let's not make it a racist thing. Let's not make it a racist thing. Let's not. Oh, these bad people, these bad. It's a good and bad. Let's eliminate the bad people. Well, let's eliminate all the bad that happened. Let's get together and have some pizza and some steaks and enjoy some fun in life and make this place a better place to live in. Don't want to get very political on this. The Wild Wild West. Yo. Uh, PG, uh, what's up, you fucking bitches? Tom, Tom's what's got up, gas in the tank. What's up, you he fucking go, bitches? I guess, I mean, what's up, pussies? <laughs> all right, that's kind of a weird energy. <laughs> dude, that's <laughs> weird dominator energy. <laughs> yeah, that's dominator, that's that's, dominator culture. Dominator culture. Dominator culture. That's king of, true. That's king of your boys. What? The guy who would greet all your boys and be like, what's up, pussy? Nice. Dude, I told you. Dies dude, in a car accident I told every you time. the other day, I went into Wawa, and like I always thought of myself as a pretty sexual entity in general. <laughs> you really do. The one thing that's bizarre about you is that you will have interactions with women that are just totally normal. Yeah. Just You're just talking to another being, and you're like, you're you'll, turn, you'll spin it into a sexual thing. Oh, that's all. That's how I get by. I know. I'm just saying it's not. The, like, it's I know it's not. See, it's I know. I crusher. know it's not. What's that? You dream crusher? I'm not a dream no, crusher. No, no, I like, will. I'm, I'm real. I'm based, bro. <laughs> but like, it's just a game I play. You're a it's sexual fun. entity. Though. I'm a sexual. Well, anyway, I thought I was a sexual. I entity. wish I had an ounce of that, dude. The other day, <laughs> you're pretty sexual. I go into Wawa, right? Yeah. I'm in there in the morning. That's where you go to unleash your my, sexuality. You know, just getting some bean, getting the fucking soft pretzels that I had to give up because they're absolutely. They're trash. not good, dude. They're trash. <laughs> Wawa <laughs> soft pretzels are. I trash. thought you were like they're the best. Yeah. I never said that in my fucking. I could have sworn you were like, dude, Wawa soft pretzels are. I'm not gonna turn money. this into like a. Fucking I'm not, Wawa. I'm not. I'm not. Are you I'm trying not. to do a review You're right now? To do Delco, <laughs> like this is our Delco brother food. Review. No, I'm just. I'm just Wawa saying. I could have sworn. I've always said they were trash. The Delco. Well, were, were you munching that? <laughs> I said that they're. They're. I forget. I Truth was like. Comes out. They're whatever. I said they're good if like you need to shut your fucking kid up and throw something in his mouth. <laughs> you don't want to get political. I don't want to get political. Don't political. Don't get political here. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in Wawa thinking I'm a sexual entity. It's not a good or bad thing or black or It's just it, it is what it is. <laughs> it's it's good it's versus bad. Good bad. people do good bad things. Pretzels. Good things happen. Good uh, people. Bad you should show Andrew don't the get video. No, don't no, get political. Anyway, we can pause. I'm in Wawa. It's the worst. Thinking I was a sexual entity all this time, Andrew said it. You know he knows. Yeah. This guy rolls in to enter his shift, greets his whole crew, <laughs> double shocker, like 30-second tongue out. Damn. So they're like, hey, Sean. <laughs> tongue ring? His thumb's moving and his tongue out. Tongue ring or not? I mean, not? That, the the girl equivalent of, of that would crack me the fuck up. It'd be, like some chick coming in and being like, <laughs> double blow <job. laughs> Wait, did he have a tongue ring or no? Nah, he kind of had like a Takashi 6 9 thing going on, but without the face tats. There was a while. Really? Like so he was like rainbow hair. He kind of had like, like a clean riffraff. Yeah, there's Face guys. Face are a life ender. He was in the kink community then. He was definitely in the kink community. There was a while that whole Wawa was greeting, that. What? This was 6 a.m., the Wawa on uh, 322. Oh, never mind. Uh, the 202 Greet. Wawa had a squad that was like just absolutely. It was mostly lesbians. Dinkuses. It was mostly. Now, there was a kid who worked with me at Pat's Pizzeria, and they tried to cook mushrooms on pizza, and then they all wound up working at Wawa. Swag. And then went to Wait, Conor they Pike. ate, like, mushroom pizza? They tried. Like, 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 psilocybin? Psilocybin? Yes. Psilocybin? Yes. Cubensis? 
I guess. You know if it was Cubensis or which one was it? Just mushrooms, man. <laughs> Wait, so these guys worked with you and then they went over to Wawa? One, the fat dude worked with me at Pat's Pizzeria, but then his whole squad was over there like screaming numbers at Wawa being funny. But this is back when like they had like regular chicken colored sandwiches on Kaiser rolls. Yeah, it's back before regular. Wawa went corporate. You could like let your freak flag fly there. Yeah. Well, I guess funny. this guy's still being a kind of like a pervert. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, dude, but it was just a general sexual greeting to his whole. It's just he was a sexual. How, I'm how, not a sexual entity. I thought I was. No, nah, you. you could I be, was talking to Dan about that the other day. Like, you'd be a more. You could give out. I a had more a girlfriend. Subtle. I had a girlfriend that I was going out with for like a, almost two years, and she was like, "You're not sexy." What? There's but not, we're not. No, yeah, like, she was like, no, "You're not." She was like, la- she left. Yeah, no. she, was, like, she was like, I laughing. joke about. She's telling a story about in high school there was this dude that was really sexy, and I was just like saying, so like, evil. That's bullshit, yeah, bro. No, I, mean, I don't, I don't evil. know. I don't I'm talking about they're evil. She was not. I'm talking down. about I mean, being dude, into sex they're... culture, like being ripping person, into Taryn. like ripping into like, <laughs> oh, like going to swinger clubs and yeah. like being into fuck swings and cheetah print undies and shit. That's a whole nother. That's I what like a sexual entity. Yeah, Matt. Matt's a sexual entity. I've Dude, been I've been blocking my sexual. There was energy. a rumor sure at work rip- that Savage had a cheetah print thong. That's and he like, would put it on to turn Adam or to turn Claire. It's probably or, true. Dude. Oh. Man, you mean his so, wife, bro? I'm I'm doxing everybody here. But uh, <laughs> it, he was trying to turn his wife on, and I was like cracking up thinking about this because I I totally believed it. So he was, all, he was a sexy thought. beast, and he had like a cheetah thong. It was all an inside joke on me. Oh. Oh, so I, I walked around nice. like being quiet, being like, Jesus Christ. Because he has, I'm thumb. picturing that, you know, I just can't help it. That's the way my mind works. And he, and he's and got big balls. He's got a grapefruit. For ball, what's his meat setup? I don't know what his meat setup is, but I, we were climbing scaffold one day and he had khaki shorts on and, and I saw his tidy whities and I was like, I, I yelled down to Greek. I was, we were at the uh, steeple at St. Todd's. Yeah. And I'm like at the very top of the steeple right on our side being like, Greco, the size of this motherfucker's balls, dude, got so jammed. He was pissed. Oh, he was so People pissed. with big balls don't like to he be outed. So no, pissed, it's an dude. Irish thing. <laughs> it might be an Irish like, thing. Like both dude, of my grandparents came from Ireland and have huge fucking balls. It might be. Dude. I got stand. I got a standard sack. Yeah. I got a standard. My unit's very standard. Man, I got standard. <laughs> Like you could swap my dick out for someone else's. That's Matt, about the same. One size. time hit us with a post workout dick pic was the funniest yeah. thing I've ever seen in my life. It was hanging. It, it was, was like so Bart hanging. Simpson it hanging. It so not weird. small though. It's Dude. not. I've never had someone tell me it's small. That's actually a powerful move. Though. I've never had someone complain about it. But yeah. it's kind Perf- of what they the say. Perfect, the difference is it would worse. be dick to say something. What it would just be it'd be weird because it's not something. bad. It, it'd be like a if I had like if I pulled up to pick you up on a first date and like. A brand new Hyundai Santa Fe. Yeah. yeah. Probably has a job. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not going to be like, yo, dude had a Santa Fe. Yeah. Good you're like, dude, scoop you me up. You your dick and just like, do, 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 do. just plays like car commercial music. Like when girls would go out and do like their corny post date, they'd be like, how is his dick? They'd probably just like order another mimosa and like skirt around the question. Yeah. Because it's like, not going to trash the guy. No, they, they're like, sorry. They're demons, dude. Don't get it. They are. No, I mean, they, watch like, Thin Red Line. Thin Red Line. The guy's at war. These boys are Guadalcanal. They're fighting for us. Yeah. And this dude gets a note saying, I need you to approve a divorce. I fell in love with someone else. I couldn't wait. I couldn't do it. Yeah, they're on a clock, dude. Dude, I've done the whole war. Yeah. I just did the whole fucking World War II. Not a big deal. And then he got dumped. Yeah, oh, and yeah, he got dumped. Yeah, yeah. Damn. You know what I mean? Like they have. They can't do it, dude. They can't handle the grit. Also, though, imagine getting that news and you got the gun. You start being like, oh, big pow, time. Pow, 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 pow. It's fucking nuts. They'd have to jump on me, dude. Yeah, that would suck. I would, I would charge the enemy immediately. There's way too many. I would just stay True. over in like wherever the fuck I was. True Good point. A lot of dudes did that. That's kind of the premise of the movie. Really? Yeah. I gotta watch that movie. I like all of his other movies. Does he get, cal- never does he get cauliflower movie. dong? Uh, I don't remember. I used to work with a laborer who was in Vietnam and he was like, oh, my dick looked like cauliflower. <laughs> that was World War II, was it? That was yeah, World War II. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Still. I mean, Who's in that movie? Everybody's everyone. In that literally movie. fucking everyone. I gotta watch it. It's called Thin Red Line. Never yeah. saw that. It's very good. It's Terrence Malick, right? That. Yep. You ever see the movie? It's like the most human World War II documentary. What was the movie made where like the couple, they had to like sneak onto a farm and pretend they were brother sister, but they were really married. It's a good movie. I can't remember. That was, yeah, that Thin Red Line's like hot. It's hot. Too, it's dude. a look at World War II through like boots on the ground. This is what it's like when you're with your bros. I gotta watch you know, it. Dude. I each, love each interaction movies. is pretty much like, yeah, this is just human to human. When's the last time you watched Apocalypse Now? 
Oh, I haven't watched that. In I just years. rewatched Dude, it a lot. I watched it when like might be one of the best up. movies ever made. Oh yeah, definitely. That's star studded as well, isn't star it? Star studded. Oh, well, by the way, too. Just this for is people, good this clean. Is a, this talk is a legal too. US high. You might have saw someone take a rip of that. That's totally legal. Totally legal US high. Yeah, it's a blend of blue lotus, amanita, amanita muscaria. Totally legal mushroom yeah. and passion flower. Yeah, totally legal. Just like totally some, legal social lubricant. Highly recommended. Five star. One hit review. True. Dude, <laughs> dude. Tom's heroin. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get real into legal US highs. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I we, just got to get the list of where Salvi is legal. True. Because it got Delaware, banned in Delaware. Delaware got a hard bang. That guy fucking, that fucking kid ruined it for everybody. He did. No, he, that kid, God bless him. He had problems. He's dead. He, he, he sailed on early. Took his own life. His fucking what mother. Do you think he's, He's his, mom, his mom tried to demonize a plant. I'm not even gonna get into yeah, what happened. Yeah, true. Yeah, don't, don't, get get political. Political. don't get political. Don't yeah. get political. Don't the get political. The guy the killed kid himself. Sailed on a little sell. early because the waters were too choppy for him. <laughs> the water's choppy, Bill. The water's right? choppy, it's choppy, especially out here, at that bro. age. It only gets more and confusing. And he had as you journals get where he talked about smoking salvia, and through smoking the salvia, he was getting relief from the depression. But then he killed himself. But he just happened to kill himself and he happened to smoke salvia. Yeah. I mean, there are two things he did. Right I on. did one of these things. I didn't do the other. I'm still, still here. Still alive. Still But like the mom kind of went on a tear and like tried to make it about the salvia. Spade was just listening to a wild ass podcast about uh, Delaware. What were they talking uh, about? Michael Wan, higher side chats. What were they talking about? You know, just, like, like just a hub for Greece. They're just setting up a Hunger human, Games. Human hunting. They're going to start hunting us. What? In Delaware? Hunter Biden. Bo Biden. <laughs> Bo. You do the math. Yeah. I could. I, mean, I could see. Dude, the right DuPonts there. are fucking weirdos. They are weirdos. Yeah, they're fucking bizarre. You but guys what? might be protected from your lineage. That's true. Why? Like, we worked there. We, yeah, we served. Oh, yeah. Your an, our ancestors that you fucking yeah, you defiled, You fucking trashed in the other one. That was one. a joke. Okay. Was, take it back. I take it back, obviously. You'll do. You, you will pay for that comment. Not now, not tomorrow, but true. Especially you as a as a as a budding psychonaut, as a budding psychonaut and telepathic individual. Yeah, true, man. You have sometimes you guys that. all lucid dream too. Yes, which yeah. is which is a powerful thing. Pretty tight. Sometimes you get sleep paralysis. What you get sleep paralysis. I get sleep paralysis if I fuck with my sleep schedule. Yes, true. and okay. I never yeah, you, do that. Yeah, you get it. I always go to sleep at like nine. I don't. PM. I don't have like prophetic. I don't. I have like prophecies in my dreams. I just have like weird. Wild ass dreams. Like I, I was, I had smoke a, a lot of cannabis though. That's your problem. Yeah, I, don't, I stop. I, I, I've actually been on. I've been in a period where I haven't been doing Pissed it at all. Us. When's the last time you smoked <laughs> at the beach? Yeah, pretty heavily. Yeah, see, at the, when's the last time you smoked at the Matt's beach? weed pen? Not if till, you, dude. I hit Matt's weed pen twice. Yeah. If you were, if you came to me and you're like, "Yo, spit that was acid," I'd be like, "Fuck, it is, isn't it?" Yeah. Well, that, that you was, said that was so one to one. So strong. It was, I, dude. If it was one, I'd hate one to one weed. Dude, it's it fucks so me up strong. more than weed because it puts me into like a, a not that I use cannabis at all because yeah. my safety. Once I gave into it, I, I <laughs> but I have in the past. You've before, experimented with it. I've experimented before. I had a safety sensitive job. <laughs> I smoked cannabis, <laughs> and the one to ones they they put me into like a fucking loop of like like I feel like I'm. You know what it makes me feel like? You know when you take a nap and you. Nap longer than you think you were gonna. Yeah. And you wake up and you're just kind of like, what the yeah, fuck time's going on? I'm like stuck in that headset. But like, like, I have my bros and I can talk about it. Yeah. But like, if I didn't, I'd be like, oh, that was, a, that, was a, that was a psychotic break. <laughs> you'd probably you know what I mean? Well, to be, bros, to be fair though, I, I've been really cutting back on weed big time. Yeah. Yeah. I was just fucking around. I'm not, oh, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, it's not gonna hurt me. But the, uh, but I'm telling you, man, it's like I've been having the. And, but when you do smoke a lot of weed and stop, your dreams become intense. Oh yeah, like that, dude. It's, like, it's nightly. I have like almost every night, dude. I fuck. I forgot to talk about this. I fucking pissed the bed the other night. Did Why? You? I fucking dude? pissed the bed. Dude. You got With some fucking woman? shit going on. The, I pissed the bed. Damn. Dude, what? I don't know. Do? I don't know what it was, dude. What it was. It wasn't. Did a she full, know? Yeah. If I, I try to play it off, I was like, oh, I think I was sweating. <laughs> like, I did that. Not. I did that like like a full piss. Not a full, but enough, dude. I oh did that, God. dude. We were all pissing together. So I, I had a dream. In I was your dream. I had a dream. I was like teaching at a school, and I was all these little kids were around, and it was the bathroom was kind of fucked up, and they didn't. Have, they should have had separate bathrooms. Right, this you school. Might have to cut this. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> I was pissing, and then you know, obviously, I go. The bathrooms are like mixed. They should have like teacher bathrooms. So I was like, I'm not gonna piss here. I feel like it's a bad idea. So I kept holding my piss in the dream and I'd go to another thing. I'd do something else. I'm like, nah, not right now. We all, we were all in church in like a church, like kind of weird, like medieval basement. And finally I was like, I'm going to dip out of the mask, go piss. You guys were all in there. 
And there was a setup where you pee through a urinal into like this fountain of water that was just like cut into the stone. And I was like with all my boys being like, oh, just swaying, taking like a monstrous piss. And then I woke up halfway through and was like, usually you do that and wake up. And you're like, oh, I'm dry. Cool. Yeah. But you I, pissed was, a bit. I did it. And I was like, cool. I'm dry. And I went and got up, finished my piss, laid back down. and was just like wet spot. Dude, swamp. I did it last swamp. summer. Did you? What? I pissed the bed last summer. Yeah, dude. But I played Rose. it off like it was sweat. That's what I tried to do. But I it was do. so cool out. Nah, like, like luckily it was like the same day, day. Now nah, I did this like midsummer because I was crushing watermelon. Yeah. So like I would like before I went to bed, I would just I would gobble, dude. I would get on the watermelon. <laughs> you eat. gobble fruit. I gobble That's fruit. Known. You hard, gobble fruit yeah, to dude. the point like, of diarrhea. It's the Clementines. Yeah. That's happened pants. before. Yeah. So I'm eating He's gobbled watermelon. blueberries in a dangerous realm. Dude. I'm eating this water. It was like I was eating just watermelon for days. I remember that. Because yeah. I was just getting these watermelons, tearing them up. You're like jobs. And yeah, I was like jobs. You're pretty much. Fruitarian. I was fruitarian. So anyway, I eat all this fucking watermelon. Yeah. I wake up, the bed is drenched. And I straight up pissed the bed. <laughs> Dude, I did. <laughs> and I just, Dana woke up and I was like, yo, you got to change your sheets. Like I sweat my, because I sweat a lot at night. True, yeah. So she was like, okay, yeah. Well, you're prophesizing, so. I was probably, dude, I'm channeling so much yeah. at night. Yeah. So she changed the sheets real quick and like never checked the moisture content, but it was 100% piss. I think I caught mine all in the, well, dude, so I got up. She she was like, what's going on? I was like, this took me back. I used to piss the bed when I was little. So I would try to sneak down and like do the laundry. Mom would come down and be like, what the fuck? So I was, she was like, what's going on? I was like. I don't know, man. I think I just sweat or something. It's like, and she like reached. She was like, "Did you pee the bed?" And I was like, "Yes." Oh my god! <laughs> just a little, not a ton. I drink a lot of water. I don't fuck. Dude, I thought this. I had. The, I was. I would chug water before I went to bed constantly. I thought I had the like the fucking astral seal. It must have broken. It was after I ate the chicken of the woods. Yeah, you probably chicken of the, the woods. Seal, yeah. Probably broke the seal. You probably broke the seal, dude. Chicken of the woods, penage, but it, it was weird. It was such a. When's the last time you've pissed yourself like in public? <laughs> I I can't even think of it. I haven't done it in forever. Kindergarten. Yeah, I did. I pissed myself in public way back when. Dude, I pissed myself in a bar when I was like twenty four. Yeah, I mean, you were raging I wasn't alcoholic. even drunk. That what? was the catch. So like, I was going to meet some people for drinks, right? And I was like in a rush. Yeah. So I'm wearing like I had some like fucked up like cut off cargo shorts I sure. was wearing. They were like pretty baggy. Yeah. And like I pulled my zip down. Oh yeah. Started reaching for my dick, and then my phone rang, and I was in such a scurried mess <laughs> that I stopped pulling my dick out and grabbed my phone, and then looked at to see who it was. This was like I was like 25, <laughs> right? I'm like, oh fuck, that's the person I was. I was, I was like waiting for a call to yeah, meet yeah. someone. Something was happening like logistic wise. Yeah. Then like I'm like oh shit I'm like yo hold on I'm taking a and as soon as I was like, I'm taking a piss I was like oh fuck my dick I never finished pulling oh it out <laughs> look down dude drenched so, my shorts what did you do I just rolled bounced yes yeah. everyone was like dude where did you go I was like I had, I had to roll I had you know I had to go I was like, sweating I just sweated. I just like, like was like yeah I just played it off like I like someone I had to go do something like, where I'm like man nah. I'd handle business yeah I just yeah, went home and changed my that story for just shit <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was, it was, that's a nastiest bar shit story. Ever. Yeah, it's just, Wait, man, what? we don't gotta get into it. You know? What else are we talking about? Funny stuff. I, sh- I shat the bed <laughs> once too, movies. Spud. Dude, I what? I shat the bed, Spud. So when did you shit the bed recently? I was like seventeen. Yeah, How? I was hammered and I just woke oh, up okay. and there was shit on the bed. Dude, I was sober as a judge, man. I just I was just so lost in these dreams and I remember like I was holding it and holding it in. I think I think it was telling me something just like relax and be because I was I like think so, yeah. I don't know I don't know who's here what's there and you know it's just a serious wake up call, but yeah dude I fucking pissed the bed. No fab you fucking pre jet or you nocturnal mission constantly. I don't yeah. really I don't really nocturnal it's mission. Crazy dude. if it you know fab. No I, I really I've only dude, done it, no I've done fab it for like once dude. Two weeks you'll. I wake myself not. up I'm like no and I wake up <laughs> don't do you put it. the bells on it yeah no I'm just amped dude, on dude the worst the worst part too is like we, you know we're not like me and Brittany obviously aren't in a fight right now but like we we are in like Cold War territory <laughs> <laughs> so like you know I wasn't I wasn't let's with get it. into that let's yeah, get something to talk about I didn't, <laughs> we'll talk about when you shit in the bar <laughs> <laughs> just talk about them both we're at like the same Cold time. War territory and I had to be like yeah I pissed them out. <laughs> And I just put a towel. She's like, "What are you gonna do?" I just laid a towel down and slept on it That's like a dog, chill. dude. She's like, "You're yeah. disgusting." I was like, "I didn't want to wake you up." I did that the other night just with sweat, though. Yeah, you put a towel down. You probably peed a little though, too. No, I mean, it was it's on genetic. My shoulder. It's, it's genetic, dude. It's not a big deal. It was my whole body all the way down my blanket. I woke up and there was just a mark of water just all the way down. When's the last sweat. time you pissed the bed? He fights in his dreams. He I, saves. Uh, I can't remember Chinese last babies time in I his dreams. Bed. Wait, you're fighting for the good guys, bro. I fucking it's not about that. Fucked it's up. just about good guys, bad guys. I don't get political, but, but you're you're trying to fight. 
I have fucking dreams I'm running through. I keep having dreams I'm going down into basements. And like the the one I had, I went too far down and I was like, oh, this is way too far. And then I came up and it was all fucking concrete, like in the uh, Comet Ping Pong pizza pictures where it's the kill room. But there's a bunch of them and I'm just I running. I you don't have a basement. Okay. Yeah, I'm running through sure. there. Let's not get political, dude. And then I'm just <laughs> naked. And I become naked. I'm hopping out. It's a bunch of food trucks that are outside of this fucking thing. It's like, oh, shit. I got to run back the other way. Ran back the other way, and it was drag queen story hour, and I had to get my fucking you're clothes. Just, you're just like ripping through, like he's like an Alex hours. Jones <laughs> fever dream, dude. I Sprinting had, through. Do it. you I, mind if I interpret? You'll finish your dream, but do you mind if I interpret afterwards? Yeah, go ahead. I fucking I got back Hashtag to that. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? So I just fucking try to put a t-shirt on, and I can't get the t-shirt on, and they're ru- walking towards me while this happens, and I woke up. You might be channeling Matthew Buddha in your dreams, bro. I might. Who? <laughs> uh, Matthew, Matthew Buddha. Buddha. Yeah. Who's Matthew Buddha? The other one. The Who's other Matthew one. Buddha? This guy. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> Matthew Buddha, like, does all those, like, he, like, I mean, he hits the nail on the head with the, like, I, I don't want to put plugs don't out get for, political, like, dude. for misinformation. I don't want to get YouTube flagged for. What's he talking about? No, let's keep it. <laughs> let's keep it. <laughs> I don't want to get you flagged. Shane yeah. 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 Special just came out. Yeah. Yeah. We're on a different podcast. So he talks about like. Tom, uh, you want to come on War Mode? Yes. He talks about. um, <laughs> He just does things about like pedos and like. Yeah, like, just, yeah. like yeah. ties. He ties it all together. I got you. Stupid shit package. like fucking rich petty. people talking, killing children. Yeah, it's not. Who cares? It's just fantasy. It's just fantasy. You ever see good movies? Joe, so. It's just fantasy. So, Bill, your dream. Yep. When you're going in a basement, Coffee. typically when you're going underground, you're you've been exploring your subconscious. Yeah, yeah. And then you're getting you, there. You're and you a go, budding psychonaut. Dude. I'm you too. Just don't realize. I'm too deep. I'm too deep. And you run out back into your world of content of like, you know. But yeah. this was another basement. It's endless basements. Yeah. I mean, bro, it's I mean, dude, spiral staircase. Exactly. Down it's an endless dude, subconscious dude, the, journey. The amount of uh, fucking cells in the human brain rival the stars in the galaxy. That's true. Yeah. Facts. And the other one, facts. I was just facts. <laughs> facts. We were facts. we were walking we were walking down this gravel path, and I fucking like we almost walk over someone. Like, yeah, there's a fucking kid in there. I dug up one. The baby was dead. I dug up the other. It was a fucking little Chinese baby. What'd you do I was with like, it? Dude, we gotta fucking end this shit. What'd you do? I just saved the baby and woke up. Spiritual Damn, warfare, dude. dude. Damn, you're dude. fighting the demons in your dream. Oh, fucking sleep paralysis too. I do that all the time. Shit starts approach me. Sleep paralysis. I start swinging. Do you roll with it? I no. I start swinging. I go it. into it. No, I'm saying I let it come to me. I push my face towards whatever the fuck's happening and start fucking swinging. No, yeah, I, just, I fully I fully cross arms or no, I, I can't move, but I, I can't just, submit to those I assholes. Just, I go in there. I go in, dude, and it's like when you go into sleep paralysis, it's very fucking weird. I get I get inception when I do that. I get that's what happened. I get caught in a stairway. Had it happen to me in so and it just long. my space runs out until I'm caught in like a tiny little thing and I just go chill. I wake up in my room. Yeah, then over you, and you, over. Do you know? Yeah, it kind of stinks. It's to the point where I'm getting pissed off because I know I'm still dreaming. Yeah, it kind of stinks. Yeah, it fucking infuriates. I've been having me. recurring dreams where I'm in like a dingy house in like a real, almost like a 1960s neighborhood, and everything's kind of just like it's it's hard to describe. I, I go back there constantly, and I walk around, I get all skeeved out, and I'm like, "What the fuck? What is this place?" Dude, I had a dream. Me and Fed were on another planet, <laughs> so. <laughs> Right here, imagine there's like a bunch of Mexican dudes. For yeah. some reason, they're Mexicans, and I know this. They're in <laughs> spacesuits and feds right here. And then there's a dude on the ground with a gold, the gold like visor. Yeah. And like for some reason, these guys are all throwing bricks at the dude. And the vibe is like, feds like, dude, we have to smash his face because he's we got to put him out. He's gonna die. You guys ally with the Mexicans. Well, I'm floating above. I'm like above. I'm watching this from like. This, you know, from like a balcony, give me an like above shot. Suspended. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'm hanging up here, and Fed starts actual body. Yeah, Astral he's body. smashing body. this dude's gold visor, and then it breaks, and his fucking head explodes. And then Kev looks up at me, and he's like, Yes, we did it. And I was just like, What? And I woke up, and I was like, What the fuck? Damn. It's fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, dude. It it is, dreams man. are wild. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why people don't. There's some people like oh, I fucking hate hearing about them. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I never sure get that. It's enthralled. so cool, dude. I don't. Yeah, it's I have so a lot cool. where I'm stumbling around. Like, I'm falling asleep and then run. I'm trying to, like, run. I just keep on fucking falling asleep and, like, dozing off and then, like, getting back up and falling over. Dude, you're a budding psychonaut. You got to get in here. Yeah. I need yeah. a, I need, I, like, I'm not going to throw this on you right now, but I need a partner. <laughs> <laughs> Craigslist has not been good to Craigslist you. Craigslist is not good to me. I need a brother. I need someone who can get in there with me, do the heavy work while I'm, a, just while I have my I'm, safety. I'm, we're going to do it, dude. We're going to get into a space. I'm where a strict we, DMT knot. <laughs> No, nah, dude. First wow. of all, I wish we had DMT for Matt. That would have been so funny dude, to give Matt I DMT. To, him try to do a podcast and ask go, dude, 
Trust me, you can't talk. Relax. Yeah. We'll do this. I True. played I cod immediately it. afterwards, which was chill. You What's what? That? Spade was zimmed, and I was playing cod after he smoked DMT. You're playing what? I don't understand any of these words. Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Oh, what's zimmed? Zimmed? Yeah. Fucking do three tabs of acid. You're zimmed. That's just what it is. It's true. <laughs> by right, zimmed. Well, I had. I, I mean, I I ran the scenario by you know my plant medicine teacher. Yeah. And he was just like, that's not a good idea. And I just, I'm like, yes, right. absolutely. Yeah, we might have had the most epic round table when we did it. Yeah, man. That was God. Whatever the fuck made us do that that day, that was just God. Like, yeah, now's the time. Yeah, dude. That was a good time. It was a Sunday morning. Yes. First and foremost, the best time to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We had another helper who was far, he is the ultimate psychonaut. Yeah. True. Um, It was just the right time. Doing it tonight would have been a bad idea. Yeah, man. Especially with all the traffic out there and just yeah, fucking man. dreams about the Chinese babies. It's just not <laughs> fucking, it's not time. Yeah. True, that definitely was definitely but We will sign. get on. And also, too, I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to turn such a sacred thing into podcast fodder. Yeah. <laughs> True. That's that's not I, I mean, Tom was pissed. I called Tom. I was, he was I like, was who a little the upset. fuck I was like, came up with that? fucking idea was that? Was I was like, Tom, chill, 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 chill. He talked me down and I was like, what okay. Yeah, Tom was like, who the Fuck wants you to do DMT I second for a motion. fucking yeah. mere podcast? Like what? Yeah, I was fucking. Weird. A lot of the guys I mean, are getting on. A lot Tom's of the guys are getting originally. on. That was Tom's I got idea. Originally. A lot of the guys are getting on. That's how me and Billy. <laughs> that was Tom's idea originally. What? Do it, and then you'll have a fucking amazing podcast after. That was my idea today, or an idea in past life. <laughs> that I had. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Every day is a past life now. Four or five True months ago. Big time. I'm alive today. Yesterday's my past life. Okay, I agree. It just it's funny. Keeps I was going back. about that today. <laughs> Keeps, the deck keeps rolling back to past lives. Spud, so when did you shit yourself? Oh, I mean, <laughs> how, what times do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> no, the, the one at the bar is the worst. I mean, and then at that point, what time? which one at the bar? The one where you had to go to the other bar to discard. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I... Like you patched, shit in one bar and went to another bar? Me and Fed were out. We were doing that bar crawl thing that all the young people do. The and I went upstairs to go piss and I farted. It uh, wasn't a fart, a obviously. Yeah. And then I was like, I have to get out of this bar. And then I found it. There was another bar that I knew that had a pool table that no one was at. So I went there and then I just took my underwear off, cleaned myself up, and just threw it in the trash can, fucking rolled. Free bold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Solid move. Went right back to the bar. You went right back to the party? Oh, yeah. How'd the party feel? Did the party feel different? Like, how was the energy at the party? I mean, dude, it felt better. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it feels good pulling something like that off. Yeah. Just right, I got like, through it. Yeah. Just, uh, I trucked through it. Yeah, nice. just dumping. You still free You just drink too much. I free ball yeah, all the time. You yeah. drink too much. I never wear underwear. True. I hate wearing underwear. I, my balls are too big. You free time. <laughs> Tom's been an OG free ball. I don't know how you guys free ball being mutilated dude. like you are. It, it it's so desensitized, so, bro. It's so, so desensitized. You know, I mean, you, it's such a crime what happened. It's we didn't have a choice, bro. It really is sad. We didn't have a choice. Sad. I had my chance of redemption. I took it. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, I wish Good all boy. fathers would do the same. I finally got. I got a. Uh, I got Bay on board with that as well. I almost double redeemed. What did you almost go the other way? Too? <laughs> what you almost? I almost got my other one out of spite. You think you would get like feeling back in your dickhead? What? No, it's gone. Um, when you say double redeemed, did you almost? I wanted to take down my second born. <laughs> I was trying to push female circumcision. What do you mean? <laughs> you said female circumcision. his daughter. No. <laughs> Pure misogynist. Yeah. But I was talked down. I was like, you know, that's you probably love the new abortion spite. law. Yeah. <laughs> you trying to do that out of spite. Dude, there's chicks okay. freaking out about that on Instagram. The one chick was like, they're, they go to such a fucking realm that just isn't real. She's like, if I were to get an abortion, I would have definitely needed this law not to exist back when I was younger. Okay. But, That's your argument of why you can't have an abortion. So what, what the Texas reality of it is, is that they commit a murder. Yes. And they live with it. And that's something that they are comfortable with. They decide who lives or dies. Yeah. They're females, dude. And yeah. it's like they... Asked for the power, they've been given the power, and what have they done with it? You know they what I mean? Nine they killed month old babies. Yeah, it's it's insane. So what's what, what's wrong. Texas law? It is murder. Like, After six weeks, you can't get an abortion. Aborting babies is a murder. Yes, that's yeah, what it is. They life. immediately just, jump the rape, which is almost like the smallest amount. Yeah, it sucks. It'd but be, get a fucking plan B. Dude, it'd be right one. Th it'd be one thing if they were like, "Yeah, we're murdering. We we decided our lives are more important than the life the life within us." Yeah. 
I'm not trying to get political, guys. Yeah, don't get on, political. Get political. I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. What do you think about steak em up steaks? <laughs> 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 They're murder. I hear you. It's sad. It's a sad thing. Yeah, dude. It's a sad thing. It's dude. just weird that chicks I've are going seen chicks like, this is what you're well, about. Yeah, Here's, girls that have had abortions are fucked in the head yes because they're literally constantly, they're constantly dealing with what they did yes and it, it is something that they wake up with every fucking day and if you tell me otherwise it's a lie yeah and a well, bunch of chicks a- that will never get cp'd ever because they are fucking brutal are online like if i were had to have gotten an abortion with the imaginary guy that didn't so exist crazy. when i was 19 cream pied me i would have been fucked it's like no you would because no yeah. one wanted to fuck you because you were brutal then and you're brutal now <laughs> everyone online fucking freaking out about abortion laws yeah is fucking brutal. No one wants to fuck you. No one wants to cream pie you. True, you believe that? I 100% believe it. <laughs> That's not true. It is. There's, there's a dude out there. There's the amount right of girls. Now. Every woman in the about? world. The amount is, of girls. Every woman in the world. There's one dude out there in the clubhouse that yes, wants to that's true. That's I understand that, but and at will this point in time. Debunked. debunked. <laughs> I, 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 what I like is your Girls pa- can walk out the door. I like your passion. Gardini yeah, like said this on Dabby. They could just walk out the door yeah. and go get snits. There's Or dudes. They what can, I, but I'm getting like The ones that are geeking online, yeah. no one's CPing you. You might get fucking pork, but no one's going to CP you. Like, I want to have a kid with this I knew dudes who- I do it immediately. Yeah, I know it's like on entry. CP. I know They're like, did you just come? I'm like, no. <laughs> That's you. You're super wet. <laughs> I just don't get like why this is what you're using Instagram. Well, for. I mean, they're freaking I mean, out. Instagram it's, in general is fried. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty There's bad. There's no and good use for it. You know, it's they, they were saying like if you. I don't like miss, the glorification of it. Yes, yeah, exactly. The glory of like, oh, I've had fucking 20 abortions. It's, it's like, dude. Enjoy hell. Every, every one of those is or, a word. Dude, they're enjoying <laughs> it right now. They're Here's, living in hell. Yeah. They Here's, live in hell. They go to sleep every night going, yeah, I did that. And they have to live with that. And then all the copes, yeah. the societal copes on to top of that. My body, so it's like, my choice. they cope individually yeah. and then they collectively cope and then we all cope with the fact that we're murdering yes you know what i mean it's fucking wild it's like maybe take it easy yeah take it easy dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it maybe <laughs> we'll fucking take it easy well dude that's that's the thing because you can't no matter how you slice it because they're saying like well you know six weeks i could miss my period and by the time i even know i'm pregnant it's like i don't even have a chance you know it's get like, better in tune with your body i think the laws <laughs> i think the law is bullshit that you know pushed out. Inside you? i think yeah. the democrats pushed it out us. for the midterms no, Good. They could. Come on. They no, pushed it okay, out so that they could right get now. everybody all fired up. Be like, oh yeah, well, we have to save this. They could have. My thing yeah. is here. Here, this is this is the only I'm way. About you to get political. I don't want to get political. All I'm saying is, you know, this is about you're people. a dickhead if you're online freaking out about like how this is important to you that Texas, like you give a fuck, dude. You call the cops anytime you see a black person outside your house, and then you yeah. put up your sign. Facts. Like, Black Lives Matter. Facts. That's, that's, like a that's a fact, though. Dude, let's just talk they about... They fucking sit there and talk about it. Planned Parenthood talk, kills more black kids than Lotus. fucking anything else. Let's talk about Dia Sand- or D- Dia Sanders versus Steve Prince. Yeah, let's not get political. Let's <laughs> I'm not, not trying to get, get political, but dude, not trying to get political. you don't <laughs> give a fuck about black kids if you're sitting there touting abortion, because that kills the most black kids. And look yeah. at what it used to be called. You assholes. What it used to be called. I, I don't want to say, say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I don't I think now's a good time to plug Shane's special. <laughs> <laughs> it is, I mean, it's just, it just oh, it's so man. infuriating. These people are so fraud. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's bullshit. But yeah, Haven't you been reading the Kabbalion, dude? Yes. You can't push the pendulum. You got to let it go. It, I know, yeah, dude. but sometimes, dude. You get Margaret pissed. Singer you can't, and the eugenics. You can't, you can't kick Bill the Gates' father. Yeah, I know. Rip Grandfather. this fucking Emmy, dude. You got to get in here with me. I need a fucking partner. Yeah, <laughs> Tom. Dude. I, You'll uh, deal, they'll deal with this stuff. I don't understand why he won't do it. I'm he will. He will. It's a legal already, he's, already, he's already done it, just not in this linear timeline. Yeah, yeah obviously. That's pretty obviously. cool. I like that. <laughs> but I hear you, Bill. If people maybe <laughs> approach sex with the sacredness and gravity it yes. deserves. yes. I mean, it saves a t- it saves a ton. It of It sounds like a coat for not getting pussy, dude. But it is what it is. No, it's good. It's good. You're playing with fire, dude. Yeah. All these dating apps are Create, fucking you're fire. Fire. I mean, I think fucking we should life. stop the getting pussy vibe. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Way. You're I agree with that. that's not what the shriv is all about. No, nah, man. Yeah. You know, you're the creating more or less. Would you want somebody to want you? Well, you're yes. also potentially then, creating a life, and so you're commodifying the sacred orgasm. My single energy that. is something that <laughs> I want to bestow. Do you guys mind if I let some, some incense? Yeah. True that. Obviously, dude. Sage this room. Listen this is this is uh, sandalwood. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Honestly, that's that's all we have to come back to. You know, yeah, it's like I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll welcome these. These women are lost, dude. 
Yeah. They're lost. Oh, yeah. They're dude, lost. So dangerous. You're, you're welcome back in the fold. We need the bays to step it up. Dude, seriously. True. But it's like, you know, we've been doing all the heavy lifting here. So it's Literally. like, dude, you just, you're welcome back. They didn't know, dude. They got pumped up. They got to smoke cigarettes in the 50s. Yep. Got to go to the job. Yeah, they got to go sell insurance and shit. They're getting they're like, every corporate trick in the book right now and then turn around calling you a fucking idiot, anti-mass, anti- It's like, dude, you're getting tricked by every corporation. You gotta let them go. Right. You gotta let them go. go political. Let's not get political. We're talking about just good versus evil here. Yeah, this is, good good this is evil. You There's nothing more go. evil than killing babies. Well, you just you just don't. You say, hey, ma'am, you're not for me. I don't like, I don't like personally. You do what you want with your womb. I don't have to be a fan of it, and I'm I, not. I did that to a dude I was on a bachelor party with. What was he doing? He was talking about he's going to fuck this chick who has a boyfriend. Well, he's being a whore. It's disgusting. Yeah, but he's like, I'm going to fuck her, showing everyone. Then he asked me, what would you do? I said, I think there's karma attached to every action you make, whether that's positive or negative. That's up to you. And then what happened to him at the end of the night? Fuck. I mean, dude. Drunkenly fell up an escalator, got 15 stitches. You also might have unlocked the karma for like Instagram or the the key to like for Instagram thoughts. If they're round about this and you hit them with karma, they're like, ah, ah. Turquoise necklace. Dude, you should delete your Instagram. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I mean just, no, no, you should do it right now. That we've done it so many times. Yeah. He used to do, he used to delete it, it, and then he brought it back. You know. Just completely get rid of it. It's, it's nothing but a suck. Yeah, I He's know. He's not there yet, dude. He's budding yeah. psychonauts. Yeah, it's true. Dude, you'll get there. You'll be there. You'll, you'll be there. But yeah, Bill, I hear you. You just got to be patient, dude. You, you have, I'm you, very you have patient to with these the bays, bro, but no. I've seen the damage. No, true. No, I've no, seen the damage. No. Done There's no things. patience anymore, dude. There's yes, there is. Where's it getting better? Show me. It has to be. Show me a fucking county in dude, America. Dude, we're being purified, better. dude. Did you ever read By Dark Knight what? of the Soul? Did you ever read Dark Knight of the Soul? By fucking God, Bill dude. Only Excuse me. Sorry. He doesn't read that many books, okay? Yeah. Bill, read Dark Knight of the Soul, dude. We're being purified right now. I would like to believe that, but it doesn't seem like that. Well, then. Darkest hours before the dawn, bro. Exactly. I hear you. But God, God just damn. let them let them spin. Trust me. Andrew's right, dude. They're, that's a psychologically, it's crushing. It's their living. It is. Crushes crushes they crushes should them. stop trying to pump their friends up and get one. Well, you just, they're confused. Bro. So, hey, lady, you're acting like a bit oh, of an idiot. They're in idiot. their young 20s, and they're like, oh, they're, they care about themselves. And it's a selfish move. And then they got to live with that. That's a conversation. And men don't have to deal with that as much. Yeah. True. Men don't have to deal with these, like, purely selfish my life over this other life that's inside me moves. All these chicks the dudes have deal, these dudes a lot, There's a lot of dudes being like, ah, there's a lot of bad dudes. Don't get me. It. Don't, don't get it twisted. Yeah. Takes two to tango. True. You're not getting any immaculate conceptions, you know? True. But yeah, dude, you know, it's, it's a tough that, I mean, chicks are into this stuff whole, like not having kids thing right now. Like my, my cousin is going to get married. He's like, obviously I'm going to have a kid immediately. All the chicks jump down his throat. Like, don't you want to travel? It's like, dude, don't you want to travel with something you made? Yeah. Instead they, of they going got, to fucking Cabo. You know how empty your life is when you go home and there's no one there. Yeah. yeah a dude. cat with it's a shitty little box. Yeah, I don't know where the dude. babes got this memo. Like, they got to be like Carmen San Diego before yeah. they have a kid. The, I mean, they're Carmen like from must, Carmen San Diego. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> that <laughs> must travel it's thing is shriving me. The what? The, uh, I have to travel all the time. It's like, dude, I fucking can't. Yeah. I can't travel. No one can travel all the time. I mean, yeah, there are dudes well, that can. The problem here's the thing that here's the thing the that they stop fucking doing here's the thing that they have to wake up to. Nobody wants to travel with their girlfriend. Yeah, it it's stinks. not fun. It fucking stinks. I'm confused about that because we were we just went to Florida and we were with O'Connor and he was telling me about girls and I was like, "Why are you here? What do you mean? Because I was like, "Why aren't you with the girl? Wait, you want to hang with your boys, dude? I don't understand. I do. I mean, dude, I love you guys. Sometimes you get tired of it, but it's hint. Like, do you? Yes, yes, I think. Wow. Damn, I mean, it's fucked it's up. It's like tired of being rich. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, you people are. You can't seek hermitage. <laughs> Give away all their money. I mean, I hear you, but I'm saying, dude, it's like, you know, we're we're in for a rude awakening. We got to return to the basics. Just and, and it, it only dudes can lead the charge. Yeah, literally. If, yeah. if dudes start being like, yo, that's like well, I like Sharia law. Demon. I mean, you know, you could do a milder version. <laughs> you, know, you could, uh, you just, you know, approach him like, look, you're confused. I see what this thing you're trying to put on. It's not really my speed, babe. Go I'm forth. Into I'm into something a little more pure. And I feel like you've kind of been corrupted by, you know, the it very society. It breaks my heart because you know that life begins at conception. Yeah. You know that. True. That's a potential life. When you get the baby scans, dude, like pretty yeah. early on, you see exactly. the eyes, you see the head, you know, they got the little tail still going on, but it's cute. <laughs> Got a little alligator tail. Like, oh. You never know. That kid might save your life. Yeah. You think you're on a path. That kid might be, at some point, that kid might be. Well, the they're thing. probably not thinking like that because they're putting mom and dad in fucking Maris Grove. 
Yeah, okay. They put their parents <laughs> this in. Yeah, once once you have a kid, your life's kind of like, you're kind of like part of dead. Money. Like, you're just like, yeah, dude. You're just a dude, vessel you're for done. stuff. Yeah, That's you're, a you're basically, life. And it's it's kind of sick, dude. It, it is. You don't have to think about yourself. Yeah, you're just dead. You're like, all right. I'm dead. I want that feeling. I have the dead feeling without the kid. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> and they do too. There's no way chicks don't. Oh boy. There's no way. You can see it in their eyes. <laughs> I mean, dead shark eyes. Yeah. I mean, you're it's too t- short. It's oh. it's tough. It's tough for babes too because they're fucking. They're lost, and you know they're fucking. There's not enough trips to Thailand, enough elephant rides. Well, well now that make they're using ride. they're using the people who are against the vaccine. Like, oh, you're against the vaccine, but well, I you're can't one get of those. Abortion? I just got that the other day. I saw that. Wait, saw, what's the thing? They're being like, oh, you're against the vaccine, but I can't get an abortion. It's like, what? What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> yes, both of them are harming humans. Oh. Let's not get political, dude. Yeah, let's not get why, why this gets so, so political. What do you like better, Dela Sandra's <laughs> or Steve? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went to Steve Prince takes it. I got. <laughs> um, American, no fried onions. I think I got banana peppers. Did you review it or no? No, I didn't review it. It was oh, my first oh, time, man, dude. I should have fucking reviewed it. Should've Phenomenal. Reviewed steak, we got to get him a smartphone. How do you think about yeah, the cheese, Trill? What do you think about the cheese? No, thing? dude. Dude, you can review it on an iPad if you're a beast. The cheese The guy sauce? at Aramango Avenue, Wawa, he would do that shit football season. He put it on his tailgate and just start fucking going off here we go this week we got some shit going on it's like yeah, five dude. o'clock in the morning here's the, the moral of the story is we need to stop thinking about when does life begin or like what are the rights for your body we need to just start enjoying cheese and meat <laughs> and documenting our With experience a little bit of yeah. ketchup With a little bit of ketchup <laughs> and documenting the experience and just putting out as much of that as possible. What about yeah. big time hot dogs? I mean, that would be a Why didn't we get food tonight? Dude? I thought there'd be food. Tonight. I didn't. Spade said he was going to eat. I'm I, here. I'm here. We could order you food could, whenever I you mean, want. I mean, your phone break? What? Your phone break? I thought it, I thought there'd be. A, I thought the podcasters would put a spread out for them. I'll put a spread out for you. I'll put a spread out for the town. I'll put a spread last out for the town. Last time you came here, like yo, let's go. Yeah, last time I came here, you guys hooked. You guys gave me. Food. Well, that's a different podcast. I brought Amanita. <laughs> you did bring Amanita. I brought some vibes. I brought. I mean, I thought I brought my share. I also. Have I brought shells. books. I bought a book for Andrew. I also brought, have shelves. Tom did bring a lot. I brought a book for Borg. Yes, for sure. I didn't bring you any books. That's cool. Can I have some more of that? Well, I already because you didn't finish the Kabbalion. Okay. Legal USI, YouTube, legal USI. We're within our American right. If you deplatform us, we will go to the Patriot app. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear you, man. I hear you. You got to find I'll, I'll send you a book. Movie. I actually, I left a book in your truck and I was hoping you'd read it. Uh, not yet. What the book? Way, Carlos Castaneda. Rules. Although that guy turned out to kind of uh, freak out, convince people to kill themselves. Dude, it happens. True. Sometimes that's the answer. True. I mean, maybe not. That was just his trip. No, that. can we not do that right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, uh, no, Castaneda, apparently, again, they could've, people could have been smiting him. People might have been smiting like, him. But apparently, I, he was like, I jumped off a cliff that. and disappeared. And then, like, meanwhile, he just, like, died of liver failure. Something crazy happened where, that's like, no the, the three yeah. closest people to <laughs> him, like, got their heads cut off or something. Yes, yeah. He wilded out. Yeah, something. But his f- first book's phenomenal. First book, awesome. were talking about that shit with maybe all Colts didn't end like that. Might have clear about They could have just been no, <laughs> I'm good on that, dude. I yeah. mean, I have to drive. It has nothing to do with that because it's illegally this high. I'm yeah. not going to lie, officer. I, ha- I had about, I, I would say, five hits of Amanita Muscaria. I would combined. say it was about a one to one to one. Of uh, Blue Lotus. Dude, just some like buzzed head cop being like. I'll munch caps right now. You'll munch Nita? I'll munch Nita right Will now. Will that keep you awake? Nah, no, probably no. Put you right it's to sleep. It's another vibe, dude. It's not psilocybin. We got to get the squad on Nita, bro. The solstice. It's, and it's legal. Totally legal. Totally legal. All I'm Nita mascara. Where is the solstice? The 20th or the 21st of December? Okay. Does it, I thought it would taste like shit, too. No, they kind of taste... It tastes like, enough it like, like popcorn. Oddly yeah. enough, it tastes like Eucharist. I mean, you tell me. <laughs> you do the math. I heard that. Yeah, I'm, I'm much more into doing heavy um, psychedelics on fucking days like that. Solstice, I solstices, think that. all that shit. Yeah, not just doing it like on a fucking Thursday night. Give me I a do, fucking day of meeting. I mean, that's that's. A, I like that take for yourself. You don't have to be prescriptive though. It's no, a, I'm not, I'm you not, can't I'm do not, it on a Thursday night. That's fuck. It's like I do it on. It's, it's just Thursday. Like, no. Uh, Tuesday. You're, right, you're yeah, caught yeah. up in dominator culture, dude. Everyone no, 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 has I'm to saying do their for own me thing. personally. Yeah, but it's then you Thursday. trashed people doing it on random I Thursdays. I, I just don't. Want I know to do a dude who Thursday. just ate five grams of mushrooms on a Thursday night, not that long ago. We'll say one <laughs> Thursday ago. <laughs> Bill, do you think about yourself as like your ego self, or more like the infinite energy of the universe that like constantly is reborn? Just curious. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, you know how there's like you know like 
all of the elements, I think, uh, except for four, were yes. created from a, like the sun, yeah. like stars, really. Okay. And then you're then created from that. Yeah. So you you are just light. Are you yeah. asking might, if he's might be an crazy. infinite point of light? I mean, I I listen to David. I guess yeah. that's yeah. what I believe. But do do you understand? You are, you comprehend the message yes. of that? So you are a light being. Yes. What that's, do you think happens when you, you die? Reincarnation. You don't. Reincarnation. Do you think you reincarnate like Billy will turn into? I Timmy? think you're just a stream of consciousness. Or do you think that you reincarnate into an stuff. orgasmic blast and become like three million different things? You, that's what I'm saying. Who the fuck knows? But you, it that. doesn't end. I don't even believe. I don't even think it's that. After I smoked DMT, I knew that's one thing. I came out. I was like, dude. Well, you don't even reincarnate. Like the Billy, the you know, the Matt, Tom, Andrew, the well, ego, part of them does. the ego yeah. persona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just that. <laughs> Matt got it all figured out. That's no, no, no. I'm telling you that, which is the eternal divine spark within all of us, Dude, just, just constantly happy. reincarnates into another person. So when you correctly identify with the internal spark, then that's the you that reincarnates. You don't like you're like this. I mean, ego if you smoke self. DNT. Yeah. You, you oh, I, dude, I'm telling you that awareness. It's still you. I'm not. I'm not stripping you of that. <laughs> I'm saying all of your selfness disappears, and it's like you know, capital L self. You can feel that. Yeah. If you want, I agree. We'll do it. Yeah, not, not for, yeah, I'm not, not for I'm not nagging. I'm not nagging. I don't want. I'm not nagging. I'm just start pushing. Talking about blue chew. I'm pushing my bros. <laughs> I'm just pushing my bros to identify more with the divine light within. That's all I'm saying. I'm not I, trying I to dig, fucking, I dig, yeah. I'm not being prescriptive. Yeah, I don't want to be I'm not trying to dominate. I'm just saying. Bit. No, no, no. I'm Paul check vibe right now. I mean, I can see that. You know, I can see. That. <laughs> he's a Kip. He's Kip, huh? He's Kip. Matt Kip is Dynamite? Kip. No, Kip from uh, what the hell? That's Kip Dynamite. La Fonda. That was one of my. Okay, I'm, gee, I'm just Josh. I'm just doing some astral joshing. First thing I said after I watched Napoleon Dynamite. What? Matt's Kip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a long time ago, and that one got me pretty good. It was a lifetime ago. That was that many lifetimes ago. They got me pretty good. They fired up. I've been told that on what's his name several yeah. times. Uh, the uncle who throws footballs in the Uncle Rico. Rico. <laughs> You're the Whitaker. I am the Whitaker. You're Ray Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah, we showed we showed some people that last week and they were phased by that. I couldn't I couldn't eat my breakfast, man. I can eat that with a fucking smile. I love every single one of those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> the Whitakers are double Soft first cousins. Underbelly. Yeah. Double first cousins. Timmy might be out. the biggest beast ever. You never saw it? I, dude, I don't watch anything. I thought I showed it to you. You showed me like 10 seconds of it. But like, yeah, I the Whitakers like... are double first cousins. Sick. Um, so that means if like Both your siblings. Both grandparents were first cousins. Yeah. That's pretty sick. No, it came no. out pretty bad for me. Uh, honestly, God, dude, <laughs> you're, you're rolling no. the dice. Maybe no. The thing with the they thing, did say that they think the water supply. Yeah, is you don't know how great Timmy's life is. Exactly, Ray also is too spitting chew out, shitting himself. A lot of people sandwiches. sleep on the not fact thought in his head. that yeah. like inbreeding's not always bad. Yeah, because you're rolling the dice and you can get a couple sixes. Yeah. You can get a super baby. You get a super baby because what happens when you inbreed is all of your possible bad connections might line up, but all your good ones might too. Yeah. So like. That's what they did in the old days. Yeah, in the old lines. days. But in the old days, you would just take the bad one out. You know, I, mean, yeah. I know that I want to fire you up again. I don't want to get you all fucking yeah, no, being exactly. really prescriptive, dude, about women. Dude. I'm, I'm trying to liberate women, to be honest. I mean, I do want them to be sexually responsible. It, it fucking pisses me off. And I see, I saw Made in America. I mean, act I was there, act like there's chicks that aren't using abortion. What was happening in Made in America? Control. Just women dressed disgustingly. All wearing the same exact clothes, and it Not was very I was prescriptive of you, huh? <laughs> Tell them how to dress. The shaman, you to dick, yeah. went from I'm, prescription dude, to I'm real. I'm doing a comedy podcast, dude. You're Play just along. fucking around. I'm doing a comedy podcast. You, you know, they were all dressed exactly the same. They were all dressed yes. exactly. the all same. All the dudes dressed exactly the same, dude. Yeah, that's true. They're we fucking should. dressed like Bill's derelicts. on point. Bill like calls out what people are wearing. It's fucking hilarious. It makes no I sense. I think they should make. Chicks are wearing Air Force Ones again. He's a Bruno. That's pretty chill. It's not. It's like an uncomfortable I shoe. Bill should Bruno, Bill speak for yourself. Bruno. Hoka's exist. <laughs> huh? Hoka's exist. Yeah, but you want to look cool. Air Force Ones are fucking ass. <clears throat> I think they should get rid. I think everyone should wear the same thing. Like, I told Spade you should go to the store that. and be like, this is what you wear when it's kind of cold. This is what you wear when it gets real cold. And you just are like, oh, I need another one of those. Cold I Tom's just a psychedelic dictator. <laughs> no, I mean, you can still go naked, too, if you wanted. I told like, Spade it's a simpler show. option. You're not being prescriptive. It's just like poncho. It's just like cut it down to very basic cloth. Like Yeezy. Kind of, but even more flowy. 
Yeah, yeah I, I we, get. Itro. I told Spade we should go to, like the guilty remnant. What's once, that? The, once will, the Vax yeah. thing gets out of fucking hand, just sit outside fucking restaurants and all white smoking cigarettes and just staring at them. Dude, fucking, fucking I was guilty hours. remnant today. I went. To, I tried to go to the gym. I'm like, I'll be cool. And I forgot they did like you can wear the mask if you. If you got the jab, yeah, or you know, if you didn't get the Did jab, you not wear masks now. If you well, no, 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 at the gym, if you didn't, if, if you got the jab, no. you don't have to wear the mask. Well, yeah. how do you prove it? You gotta like you gotta go show the card. Yeah. So I just like I, was, I thought everyone was gonna be masked up. I'm like, all right, I went there. You know, obviously I have a fucking patriot beak sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> so I have my beak and I'm popping, and all of a sudden I go in and no one else has it. People are just like, what the fuck? Who's the man? It was me, and there was just a little pix. There's like this pl- like pixie looking chick. I might yeah. try the planet if that's the case. Yeah, dude. I mean. I might try to go back to the planet. If that's, that's every dude, place in yeah, Philadelphia dude. right now. Yeah, you like, go in. It's fucking it's, it's kind of sick. Th- it kind of feels sick, though, as you walk in, you're just like. Do you who made me mutant. wear a mask full when mutant. I went to order food? Steve Prince of Steaks. One star. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you trying to review? No, I went into Steve Prince of Steaks. Well, trying to get me and Kevin were fire, like, cruising around Northeast, not a single problem. Yeah, of course. Rolling to SPOS. Dude's like, <laughs> put a mask on. Prince of, the Prince of Steaks? That that's a direct command. He goes, put a mask on. That's royalty. I was like, tell me you want to talk to the king. Do you have one? And yeah, he handed true. me one. I put it on. You should be like, this smells like grease. <laughs> I was just shocked. Yeah. But dude, it was a phenomenal steak. The way they built it was like. <laughs> <laughs> I love the mutants that walk into Wawa. Those dudes roll into Wawa, just hand out, and the security guard just slaps a mask in their hand. Yeah. yeah they got the heroin perfect. addicts on lock with that shit. Oh, you got to cover them up. I mean, they just, if you want heroin, you have to wear a mask. They all put masks on. I was saying before, we should go up and down K&A that where all the heroin addicts are and just give them the jab. Dude, we should start a jackass, but like where you just go to places like K&A and like, fuck, we're like, hey, no, we shoot up. <laughs> 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 like we go to like, like Meth Alley, Tennessee. And we're like, hey, like, just po- I'm just, I'm just fucking You're just spitballing, spitballing ideas. podcast doing ideas yeah, as a stunts. new podcaster. So we'll go to like <laughs> Montana meth and like smoke a bowl it's of Hawaiian. Right? Yeah. yeah. And we'll be like, hey, like, welcome to like, you know, like kind of like jackass vibes, but we're yeah. like slamming H for the first time, smoking bowls of Hawaiian ice. It's like puking. <laughs> it's like your reviews. <laughs> we kind of, then we'll review. We'll be like, that was the I love it. Every single one, one hit reviews on yeah, like one hit reviews. street drugs. <laughs> I hate going down there because like, it's like it's I drive. Evil. I made a right on Kensington Ave, and a girl looked at me so like thirsty. Oh yeah, and you're I was like, "You're talking about the pros." Well, dude, these are just. I guess they're all pros at that they're point. Just they're like, all enlisted. They're strung out, and I'm like, "Holy shit, should, she's she was hot as shit." You and I was like, one. "Rescue!" I drove, her. and I'm in a white van, so it's like we can. Ooh, that's so a John mobile. Is, yeah, this is like <laughs> John know, on wheels. Target, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I was driving, I was driving down that under the L, and I was just like, "Dude, this is how girls feel every day." I felt amazing. Yeah. I felt like a million bucks. I was like, this is how girls feel all the time. Yeah, dude. You, you know, could like take her in, you could take her in to get her a checked bucks. out. You dude, your soulmate might be on the horse. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm grab like, hey, how's it going? You need or a rescue. I'm bit. working on a house around the corner. You want to check it out? She'd like it, dude. Nice dude. warm bed. <laughs> you got to put like five of her friends up at all times. Yeah, right. Do you mind my two sick, of my boys dude. crash? What if I blow this dude? <laughs> Turn into Sebastian quick. I knew I knew a dude. I knew a, I knew a heroin couple, and the uh, the guy was like tricking his girlfriend out. He kind of like lightly floated it by. He's like, "She'll fuck you," and I was like, "Bro, I'm just trying to take a shit in your apartment." This is fucked up. <laughs> this is fucked. She was just laying on a mattress, and like you know, like when new people start doing heroin, they usually get like all those like pock marks and shit. She was like emaciated and just stood up and was like, "I was just like, yeah, it was fucked up." Nah, not sexy. He was turning tricks, bro. Hey. He was pimping his girlfriend out. And then we would get in the car and he'd be like, dude, like, I know you think heroin's bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, okay. He's, yeah, when right, he'd right. also, we'd be at Wendy's. He's like, I'm eating a cheeseburger. And it's like, and you also do heroin too. He would act like, if I, like I'm eating, he's kind of say like, I'm eating it. And he's like, dude, cheeseburgers. And it's like, you're eating the cheeseburger, bro. Yeah. And then he would come out and. Uh, we'll cover all this. On he show. would be like, dude, do one bag. You'll be trash. You'll have fun. I was like, no, dude. <laughs> Not shooting have, heroin, dude. Junkies like to give you heroin, though. Well, like, this, I had a friend that why they do it. heroin, and I never touched heroin. Yeah, dude, hops in my car after I've seen him for a year, and just casually offers me some heroin. I'm yes, like, dude, get the fuck. It out becomes of like here. a network, like a pyramid scheme. Because yeah. if you're doing heroin, you're trying to get everyone underneath you to do it, so then you can then sell it to them. Yes, yeah, so you, you kind dope. of escape the grind. You can boss and just get like a bundle. If you had like nine you start laying carpets. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you yeah, you can just boss, you can boss level. I've talked to dudes who've done this. You yeah. just you boss level out and you start selling heroin. You just like, you know, just get all your friends on it, start to sell it to them, then you can just chill and just 
fucking get scones. Yeah. Level 10 day. heroin yeah. bosses in Nike dry fit hat and fucking land. <laughs> 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 That's every single yeah. one of every carpet Staying layer. Ever. In sweatpants. They wear one of those like Nike focus shirts that yeah. you cut your eyes get blurred if you look at it. They all have the Nike dry fit hat. They're fucking animals. Yeah, dude. The ones that used to lay carpet for the company I used to work for were fucking nuts. Yeah. They were fucking bad people. Yeah, when they level up, when it all, it can work out for them. And they, dude, they can like, and this guy, the one thing I'll give to him, he's like, dude, adult, heroin doesn't fuck your body up as bad if you can kind of like keep from becoming poor. Bro. I was like, man, I guess, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, look at the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, Trey true. Watts. True. Guardian, where are we at? 103? Perfect. I knew there was a three there somewhere. Yeah. Some numerology. So what are the plans for the week, guys? Let's wrap this up on a, a positive note. You got anything you, to plug? You got, a, you got anything to plug? You don't <laughs> no. do anything? I got a Hayride in the Villa. You got um, anything to take kids? We're going to the Mushroom Festival. Yeah, we're uh, going to the Mushroom we'll Festival all be the 9-11. Mushroom. Can we blaze Amanita at the Mushroom Festival? Oh, yeah. Obviously, it's a legal US high. We can blaze it anywhere true. we want. That's yeah. true. That'd be tight. Yeah, I'm we'll, going to bring it. I'm going to be like this the whole time. Yeah, catch us at the Kenneth Square Mushroom Festival blaming Chilling, fucking time. blazing. Can, can you blaze a water pipe in public? Yeah. Yes. Can you, you can sell them. them. But can you blaze them in public? Why not? Why not? Why not, dude? Legal you can bug. smoke a pipe in public. <laughs> that's just fair. That's true. There's I nothing mean, illegal about body eyes. You got to forget yeah. about the dominators, dude. They're in your head. I'm just curious, dude. I don't want to see anyone get jammed up out there just trying to what blaze. What are you going to bust this for? Look what's behind you. True. It's Boom. I mean, while it lasts, bro. Not while anyone? it fucking lasts. Not, not to get, get political. Not to get I political, get but I have a feeling, you know. I, I don't think that'll get that. The Ameri- The Constitution came in and the level of consciousness. It came in at like 700 out of 1,000. Yeah. So it rang pretty true. <laughs> yeah. So I think we should be good. I got some fucking shit going on this week. What you got to do? We got, we got to plug. Arster, and, and ma- an art masterpiece that's about to happen on my wall. What you got? Polished plaster, um, gold leaf. I was hoping that would be done. It's going to be true. I'll come nuts. back down and see it, though. Yeah, we got to come up on this goddamn ladder. Yeah, yeah. It is Kind of nice, dude. Having a ladder for steps. It's kind of chill. It's a fun like story. It. You should put a cargo net up, as I was telling you. No. That would be so chill if you had to go up your bed in a cargo net. <laughs> just raise yourself up. <laughs> just like pull yourself up. Just pirate yeah, up. But well, also kind of like, you know, separates your boys because there's some boys that can't come up ladders. Yeah. So like there's dudes you'd be like, you can't come to the second floor of my house. Do you conquer your fear? Yeah. yeah some people are way. scared. I mean, or on the come down. A lot of guys get scared when it comes, when it goes time to like, I would just love to ladder. scramble up to bed. I like it. I mean, like I don't, hands and foot. Remember when you were a kid and you would run up the steps, hands and foot? Yeah. I mean, that was good times. Yeah, good times. Good times. Good times. I you would still like, scramble. Oh, yeah. I would like to. Also, I'll uh, hit a scramble every now and again. I would like to take that ladder up at night, but I'll leave it down. That's a pretty chill move. Why would you take it down at night? Who's coming up and again? Yeah, he's <laughs> a psycho with like the doors all have to be shut. You know? I'm ready to murder. Oh, he really? If he's got some battles out. ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. Budding sucker not though. I mean, I, I'm sure you'll get. I don't like. I understand like smoking weed opens you up and shit, but like home invasions, not on your guys' radar. We know yeah. someone that got home invaded while they're on acid. That sucks. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, that's all that did that. Good friend of the family, possibly related, was uh, <laughs> on a mega dose of acid. And got home invaded. Got home invaded, dude. There were so many people I knew who, dude, would just do this shit where they'd like. It only happens if you're selling drugs. That's what would happen. Well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, For the I most agree. part. No, yeah, or if you're, you're chicks. pretty fucking right about that. But they would be like, dude. Nah, people used to get home invaded just like. Nowadays, but in- though? Nowadays. No, it, it increases the chance. It increases the chance uh, 10,000%. 10,000%. And they all go like, yo, dude. They talk. You start talking to these dudes. You're living in the hood as like a student at school. It's always and, the same story. Oh, my God. And they go, yo, these guys, they show off weed to these guys. They're yeah. outside smoking weed. Like, oh, we like weed, too. And I'm like, I'd be like, every time I go, dudes, I, I know what you're thinking here. Bad move, dude. Yeah. These guys aren't like stoners. These guys are like criminals. It's a matter of fucking good and evil. Not right getting now. I'm not getting political. <laughs> yeah. These dudes are career criminals, dude. And yeah. like they're licking their chops looking at you. That oh, no, dude. You don't the understand. Time. These guys are cool. Lo and behold, good friend of the family, dude, possibly related. <laughs> <laughs> fucking not blasted really out of his mind, like telling me like the wall's gone. And he's like looking at the galaxy. He turns around, gun face. <laughs> Traumatized, bro. Oh traumatized when's your show september 22nd thank you for bringing that up september right. 22nd he i gotta get come, tickets come for check my it boys out. let I them know three tickets or no you want you need a ticket too right yeah, yeah I'm come sure on out get me in. yeah we got you come on in be fun yeah, at helium comedy club dude. philadelphia dude sorry about my brother dude we're trying to get him out of being so prescriptive and obviously i'm kidding girls wear whatever you want dude i'm coming down with a fucking but don't kill minivan so you know yeah try to just try to try be sexually to disciplined guys you know obviously girls can't do it themselves think you know lead the charge <laughs> 
girl, if a girl comes on to you yeah, with girl, alcohol, in the heat of passion, if you create a life, on her breath, it's just if you, stop, in the like, heat babe, of passion, drunk. you create a life. You got your responsible. You could be killing. And the honestly, that's a, that's a honestly, dude, it, I, I, I was, was one of these lies. Oops. I know, and I that you're passionate about it. So was Kanye, and dude, and honestly, it's one of those things where I Some know 41. you're young. You're like it'll it'll stop everything. Look, go around and start the asking best thing. accidental cream pies if there should be these laws. True. Yeah, obviously, and it's also the best thing you can do. You're young. Look, there's nothing out there for you, man. You're not, you know, I want to become like a assistant manager of a marketing firm. It's like, okay, cool. So, you know, just have the kid. <laughs> it's better for you. <laughs> I'm going to become assistant manager of a fucking design firm. It's like, yeah, that's okay, fine. And then what? Then frantically try to get knocked up in my 30s and use all kinds of science shit. It's like, just fucking do it while you're young and able. Come it's on. true. That's what Leary was saying. What? We his take just, was hot. His take was like, it should be like, when his we're take 18, was 19, like, we should be having kids. Yes. His take was like, you shouldn't and have to do anything until you're 15. Yeah. Anything. Like, you should be 100% having a good time all the time. I like that a lot. Like, kids should be able to just be kids What about forever. school? You just teach your kids. Okay. Like, you teach your kids what they need to know. Half the shit I know is not from school. But then they naturally Easy, gravitate, dude. like... So let's say you have a village, right, or a town. Sure. Your kids will naturally gravitate towards the carpenter, the painter, the you know mechanic. Like yeah. your kid will be like, "I'm into this." See, when I was eight, I helped the dude that painted our house, and he was like, "Yo, when he gets older, let me grab him." Yeah. I was eight. Yeah. So, but here's who would who would have known? That's a classic apprenticeship. That Just we don't say. have that anymore. But here's his take. So those kids would naturally follow those paths. Yeah. And take on those skills, right? So then from eighteen to forty nine. You work like a dog. Yeah. You have your families, you raise stuff, you take care of shit, and you vote. Yeah. When you turn 49, you don't vote anymore, and you're just... An elder? An elder. Spiritual help, yeah. You're so, almost an elder. What's that? You're almost an elder. I got nine years till my eldership starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so what you're doing, the 18 to 49-year-olds yeah. are taking care of the kids. Mm -hmm. Kids are taking care of the kids, too, though, because they're helping out, because sure. the, you know, like the me, me, me games gone yeah it's gone and then you're also taking care of the elders but the elders cough up all their dough at 49 they get rid of it they give it back to you or they, they pump it back to like the 18 to 49 year old crowd so nice. businesses transfer wealth transfers but then you got to take care of these guys yeah and all they do is advise and, and chill me and meditate and pray meditate pray advise chill like they're there you call them up we you're should, like, we could why can't up. we do this so we, we should totally be doing, set this dude. up that would take care of all the problems. And honestly, yeah. It would take care of every problem. It would take care of a lot of them, dude. And then you can still them. use all the fucking... You I mean, know. we would still have our problems. Yeah. But, like, but, and then, but the other thing is, you can't throttle skill. And, dude, people in that age range with the families, they have skin in the game. Yeah. And that's the problem, I think, is what's going on. But is. the geezers can watch your kids, too. So, like, let's say you're like, oh, you know, we're going to go swim at the beach for the day. The geezers have no problem watching your kids because they're not all whacked out. Yeah, about there's like, too many loud people with no skin in the game. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's the other thing too, man. It's like, I don't think your brain's designed to continue to think about yourself after like 30. Probably not, no. It's like, and know, also he says- just like, It's like, what am I doing? And your brain's just like, dude, why You should am be I allowed to start right voting now? when you're like 13. True. And stop voting when you're 49. That'd be That's such a good idea. How Tom. sick would it be if Greta Thornburg got fucking red pilled? <laughs> Greta, the climate climate change person just came out and was just like, "Stop being fucking sluts." All she has to do is have a kid. True, she will be. Yeah, they call what's uh, Glenn Lowry calls it liberals mugged by reality. That's okay, yeah, yeah. It's another liberal mugged by reality. Well, September twenty second, nine twenty two. It's gonna be tight. Dude. Come check it out. Come. And in the meantime, we have to set up the fucking. We got to reshape society because I yeah. And we'll start working on Shane special. Show. Shane special, dude, obviously. Shane special, big That's plug. Sick. Sick, dude. I might find it. What's mm -hmm. it going to be? platforms will be on? YouTube. It's on YouTube. YouTube? Yep, yeah. all Gillian Keeps. Check it out. Nice. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, <laughs> subscribe to this, too. It helps our ratings. <laughs> Join our mushroom hunting club. Before we get to yeah. the platform, non-sexual mushroom hunting. Non it's not if, very non-sexual. If you jerk Unless off. Unless you're a girl. If you jerk and off you publicly. To, bro, hang out with me. 
and maybe no, no, we'll no, find no. mushrooms <laughs> together. What? You can turn I, it. I thought you're that tainting would be a good, the mushroom. No, that would be already. a good thing no, no, to that's meet fine. girls. That's fine. It would no, be you, an excellent way to excellent meet women. Excellent way to meet women. And, you know, it's totally fine. I'm saying if you're a guy and you come mushroom hunting with us and you pull out your penis, that is a class three <laughs> misdemeanor. And I can take you down physically for that. You will be zip tied. And if I will, I'll do whatever I need to do. You will be zip tied. You will be zip tied. Tom's got zip ties at all times in case he's a citizen's arrest. Thank you guys a lot. Dude, thank you, bros, for coming up here and doing this, man. Hey, man, no problem. Thanks, dude. Thank you, guys. Let's go eat. Yes.